Talk show host and celebrity Wendy Williams was just diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and aphasia at age 59. So let's talk about what that diagnosis is. My name's Betsy Grunch and I am a board certified neurosurgeon and I first wanna say my thoughts go out to Wendy, her family and her fans with this diagnosis that her family announced this week. Many of you may know Wendy from her popular TV show that aired for 14 seasons and ended in 2022. My best guess is that the show's end had to do something with her health conditions. Frontotemporal dementia is a term that identifies a group of brain diseases that involves deterioration of your frontal and temporal lobe. These are areas of the brain that are associated with personality, behavior, and language. There are subtypes of this disease which include primary progressive aphasia, which is reportedly what Wendy is suffering from. This affects the person's ability to speak and understand language. Patients with frontotemporal dementia can experience changes in their personality, impulsive behavior, and emotionally muted. It can be misdiagnosed as a mental health condition or even Alzheimer's disease. But unlike Alzheimer's disease, this affects people younger in life with the average age being about 58. It often begins between ages 40 and 65, Wendy is 59 years old. And you may remember that actor Bruce Willis was diagnosed with the same disease at age 67. We don't know the cause of frontotemporal dementia, but we do know that over 50% of the time there is a genetic association. These patients can demonstrate a lack of inhibition, meaning you don't have a filter for things that you might say. They can have impulsive actions or behaviors like shoplifting or gambling. They can be apathetic, meaning they have a loss of motivation and can be misdiagnosed as depression. A loss of empathy may make them seem cold or uncaring. And in patients that suffer with aphasia as a component of it, they may have trouble making words or making full sentences. They may also have trouble understanding speech, like not understanding what people say to them. It's diagnosed by a neurologist who can perform a detailed history and physical examination, order appropriate imaging studies, and do other laboratory tests to rule out other conditions. Unfortunately, there is no cure for this condition, and the treatment is just supportive, and patients typically progress over time. This is such a tough diagnosis for a person like Wendy who is so energetic and full of life. I hope her diagnosis will raise more awareness about this condition.